On his first real vacation since taking office, President Roosevelt enjoys being skipper of the Amberjack Second, manned by a crew consisting of his sons and friends. Everybody lends a hand, hoisting sail as they get the yacht ready to put out to sea. The heavy cares of the president are temporarily laid aside, and even his eldest son James has to step lively as first mate to Captain Roosevelt. Underway, Skipper Roosevelt handles the helm of the Amberjack with the ease of a born sailor, showing the same skill with which he guides the ship of state. Escorted by a fleet of Coast Guard and Navy patrol boats, the president sails to his summer home, Campobello Island, New Brunswick. Then, after a restful cruise, the president will return to Washington refreshed to direct the fight for recovery with the power entrusted to him by Congress, the greatest peacetime power ever given any president. And now Senator Robinson, Democratic leader, tells what Congress enacted. 